Uh, give me two things uh, this weekend that you've learned about the Automatics A12. From qualifying yesterday, we moved these screws from the front hole to the third hole, but we kept this gap here at exactly the same at 1.8 millimeters, <coughs> and that has made the car definitely smoother through the chicanes with uh, with less bite in the front corners but kept the same amount of steering. I've also changed the grease in the in the front damper here and we went from 15k down to 5k and it made the car horrible. So yes we used the Kyosho 5 5000 uh, where we had normally been using the 15,000 and as I say the definite Changing it down was it made the car very, very wallowy in the corners, but we've obviously gone back to, to 15,000. Yeah, so 15k is generally what we're all running, isn't it? It is. Um, the soft front springs, has anyone covered that? No. Okay, so the, the C0.9 front springs. So in very, very high traction, um, the we, typically we run the C1.1 front springs, but really, really high traction. We found that the 0.9 front springs just take a little bit of that snatchiness away from the front end of the car. Yep. Um, makes it very good in the middle of chicanes and flicks through chicanes quite nicely. Um, and it's allowed people with considerably more talent than me to make the best of that and, and move the car forward with it. I'm going to suggest that pretty much the whole table are running the 0.9 spring. I, I thought you were going to say pretty much the whole table has more talent than that. The, the whole team's been collaborating together. We've made that change. We've passed that information down throughout the table. Um, you can see, I think we've got 16 cars here in total this weekend. Um, so at 43 entries. That's more than 30% 30, 30 of the field. It is. So yeah. uh, really good to see. And uh, I think it's uh, four cars in the A final. Four in the A final, six in the B final. Out of the top 20, we've got 10 of those places. Mark Styles, top automatics Hello. driver. Uh, That's where I am, Mark. Your third. I am. Give me uh, two things, but you're not allowed to talk about moving the screws back because it's been oh. covered. And you can't tell us about the soft front springs. So I've been playing a little bit with uh, trailing axles or inline axles. Uh -huh. So we've got plates that enable us to keep the same wheelbase on yep. the car but move the axles to inline or trailing. I've been going backwards and forwards a bit and I've settled on trailing axles on the car. I'm I, on trailing as well. I just feel as though with inline axles the car responds very sharply and quickly initially. Yeah. And then kind of washes out a little bit in the middle of the corner. Yeah. I've got trailing on it. Just seems to have smoothed out the car, made yeah. it a bit more easy and predictable initially. Yeah. It enables me to lean on the car harder. And we are quite high grip here, which is yeah. it's not normal for uh, what we're racing, is it? Correct, yeah. In the UK. Um, this car, the standard, is quite light, so we have to put quite a bit of weight on it to get it up to the minimum weight. Um, and until now, I've been running some, some weight on the outer chassis here, just, just around where the side springs are. But actually, what I've done is moved all of my weight into the battery tray. Ah. Ah. Um, um, so, I've not tried this, this yeah. is new for me. Try made it a little bit more progressive and it's, it's not having that kind of pendulum rear end yeah. over rotation okay. issue that you sometimes All right. Have, so. Nigel Hale, legend of RC. Uh, you need to tell me uh, one or two things. Uh, well, one of the things that we've been working on is the rear damper. Depending on how much oil of a certain weight you put in, it can give a different reading. So just because you're putting 50k in it, and somebody else is putting 50k in it, it doesn't mean to say you've got the same damper in it. We need to put it on James's useless doofer. Okay, where is the useless doofer? Here's the useless doofer. Good. So this is a Sky RC diff analyzer that uh, yeah. anyone who races electric touring cars will be familiar with. And James has designed a 3D printed adapter to go on the end here, which yeah. the uh, the end of the damper just slots into beautifully. Yeah. So then if you do that and press the button, you can just see the number pops up. So that's reading about 150-ish. And we'd regard that as so stiff, wouldn't we'd we? We'd say that's pretty we're heavy damping. We're this down 100. Around 100, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Just it's nice, as Nigel just said, if you build two dampers with 50, 50k, on there they could read completely differently. I would say, Nigel, if anybody's at a meeting with us, they can just come over and check it on our useless doofer, can't they? Absolutely. Give me another uh, thing. Well, I've been messing around with the gap. Yep. 
on the side wings and it definitely seems to be increasing the, the gap between the side wings gives you a little more steering yes okay so, so you're a, talking it's a tuning yeah. tweak yeah so the gap there yeah, I, I do it slightly different to everybody else but I use feeler gauges and I put the feeler gauges in there and I measure what the gap is there Aaron Morley or AA Ron as we like to call you as the second fastest automatics qualifier yep. by oh dear by half a second the one a lot half a second <laughs> 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 one a lot so what can you tell us um, I've been playing around with it rear droop quite a bit to be fair just in that droop screw in there yeah um, and what we've realised as well that has got to be checked when we're adjusting these bars down the side here yeah so moving the screw back affects lifts the chassis doesn't yeah, it yeah so you've got to check that yeah and how um, much droop are you running so uh, when the battery's in I'll show you when the battery's in it's difficult to actually measure so when you check it you just feel a lift like that Okay, so probably right. Like half maybe a mil of half a mil. Route, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Anything about tyres? Because I notice, um, for example, Mark, who you beat, uh, is uh, running XMs, uh, uh, Ulti XMs, which we like, don't we? Correct. Good tyre, very good tyre. Yeah. And you're running Hot Race Hagbergs, which I've run all weekend. I've not tried any XMs, which maybe I should have, but I haven't done. Um, no, half a second is more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> but there can't be a lot in it because Mark Styles is XMs, he's settled on them. Yeah. Then it's me on Hagbergs, then it's Mark on XMs, and then yeah. Alex, is it, down that end? Yes. He's on Hagbergs, and he's not far behind his pilot, so... Yeah. So, we're going to say they both work. So hot race, hot race Hagbergs yes. or, or, or XMs. Yes. And this is Harry. Uh, say hi, Harry. Yeah. What's your favourite thing about racing 12 scale cars? I like that they have a lot of grip and they're not really easy to um, spin around and go at quite high speeds. Yeah, because you do touring cars as well, don't you? And uh, what do you think to the automatics car that you've been running this weekend? It's, okay. it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and have you crashed much? Um, I've had wait, about four crashes in my last race. Okay. And did anything break on the car? No. No. It's, it's quite strong. Okay, cool. Fun. The um, practice is fine. I went up my wall. Right. Now, how do you get on? Because you're not very tall yet because you're still growing up. How do you get on seeing over the rostrum? Is that okay? Yeah, I normally stand from the box up there, but I know my friends. Fantastic. Okay. Well, you know you are going to be brilliant because already you're beating a lot of the lads here and uh, you're only going to get faster and faster, aren't you? Okay. So, brilliant. Race of the Automatics this weekend. Well, well done, Harry. And here we are at the MB uh, Grand Prix with Mark Payne, one of the elder statesmen of Team Automatics. He's the mechanic behind everybody. Uh, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, we've got probably more cars here than uh, any other brand. And so with the number of people running the car now, uh, it, it's incredible because somebody makes a change and that, that gets fed back and we're all helping each other out. So, Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's probably the best experience I've had racing 12-scale cars, and this has been uh, for a long time. I'm Excellent. now nearly 16. I've been doing this since I was 14. Well, I, the main thing I've learned about this weekend uh, yes. that any, but nobody's mentioned is gearing. So, oh, right. um, so a lot of us do run the uh, the RevTech yeah. Trinity motor. Yes. And uh, uh, we're tending to time this at 43 degrees. I am anyway. Yes, uh, I am as well. Uh, and uh, I'm surprised how high I'm gearing. I'm geared up at around uh, 73 millimetres per rev, yep. uh, which I'm very surprised about because normally I would be maybe timed at um, maybe, I don't know, 69. Uh, right. Uh, but uh, uh, maybe I should be timing higher. So the car's been a lot better since I've timed it up. I'm running Hagbergs. I normally run uh, XM, uh, Ulti XM, but I'm enjoying running the Hagbergs. Uh, what, uh, what difference do you think that gives well, you? Well, I think they're a bit, I think they make the car a little bit more pointy and they're a little bit more aggressive. I think the XM, right. the XM is a super quality tyre and it locks the car in and yes. gives a lot of confidence. I wouldn't necessarily recommend them as for a beginner because the the, the uh, wheels are very hard and yes. brittle. And um, if you get to the point where you can do an eight-minute run without touching a board, then absolutely. But if you're still smacking the car, yeah. I think all TXM every day uh, yeah. is a great time to be on. Uh, Good stuff. Uh, so yeah, they would be my main things. So James, okay, for, you were running the Schumacher before. Yeah. Also a very strong car. Yeah. Now I notice you're running Hagbergs as well. Yeah. Did you? 
run the XMs as well or just the Hagbergs? I tried them. I found the, the rear needed a lot longer um, short time. On the XM? Yeah, I preferred the, the Hagbergs. Yeah, it's funny. We've we've got half the team gone one way and half the team gone the other, haven't we? But yeah. we're, we're all enjoying running the car independent of the, you know, the tyre we're running. So, brilliant. Now, where have you come overall? Uh, I qualified first in the B. First in the B? Yeah. How did your first run go? Uh, I made the car a bit twitchy there, so I finished third and made a few mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Did you I fixed that? I left too big a gap between my springs and these beams. How do you set those springs? Do you like them to just touch down, or do you yeah, like a bit of pressure? Just, them, just touching. Just touching. From the ground. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. And it's important not to overload those springs, so they just do want to be touching down. Otherwise, it can make the car really twitchy. We're talking about that spring in there. No, brilliant. Okay, thank you, James. So this is Alex. Alex is the fourth quickest automatics car. Uh, where, where did you come in the A? Yeah, I came eight. Eight, just made the A. Yeah. This is Alex's dad, Michael, and Michael does all the car prep for Alex. Yeah. So, uh, brilliant day today. Tell us about the car. What do you think to it, and what have you learned over this uh, weekend? What, what I've learned is, is the car is very simple. It's yeah. Very simple to build, it's very simple to use. Um, you can actually see the impact that the car's got when you make little changes to the car. Um, keeping it very stuck to what we've been told is paramount to have a good weekend here. Yeah. We've well, not changed much, we've just kept it as is. Yeah. Um, changed a little bit of the oil and the, and, the, and the damper at the rear, and that's pretty much it. Just plug and play. Alex, how long have you been doing twirls car? Um, since January. Wow. Well, it's not It's not been long, it's been nine months. What other classes have you raced? Um, just 12 LMP and GT12. That's all. Amazing, amazing. Well, well done for making the A, and I'm just going to get a quick uh, look at your car and see what we've got here. What server are you using there? Is that um, the Samwa? Samwa XXI. Excellent. Um, Samwa Radio Gear. We all love Hobby Wing Electronics. Yeah. Um, You're using the... A big shout out to Zen for supplying all the kit for me. Oh, Zen, Zen are fantastic. They, yeah. they, they help all of us. David Spashit and uh, 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 Zen Racing, so check them out as well. So, yeah, fantastic setup. All right, well done, lads. Thank you. This is uh, Hakon. Hakon's just preparing, uh, I don't know what the heck he's going to be doing. Um, some kind of uh, operation there you, with the big yellow gloves. Okay, right, thank you, Hakon, and well done uh, for Thanks. making the B. And, and I think you beat me, didn't you? So, <laughs> fantastic.